postman brought this yesterday. And it is the Wee Chip Air Mouse. Now, I didn't even know these existed, and I've been around the internet for quite a few years. Um, and I thought they were pretty cool, and I thought they were new. Um, but as it turns out, they're not new. Half the world has one. So it's nothing new, but um, I'm not sure how it works on my um, desktop PC. So let's have a look what's inside the box. We have some instructions. We have USB cable. That'll be to charge it. We have a USB stick. This is what will allow it to be, um, you know, wireless. And then we have the air mouse itself, which is covered in plastic, or cellophane, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. On the back, there's a keyboard. On the front, we have our on button, we have a home button, um, that would appear to be a return button, I think this might be the menu button, and we have the volume buttons there, I'm not sure what that one's for, um, but we're going to set it up now. Apparently this works on Android TV boxes, smart TVs, um, projectors, um, but today I'm using it on a desktop PC. So on your computer you will have a USB slot like this one and we'll put our infrared dongle into that USB slot. Like that. And if you heard that noise, that's the computer saying, you know, that something's been plugged in. Okay, so once you've got your um, USB dongle plugged into your tower, um, or any other device for that matter, you will need to pair it with your air mouse. And the way we do that is, we take our air mouse right up close to the USB, um, we press both the volume up and the volume volume down buttons together for three seconds. A blue light will flash here three times and then we'll be purred. Now I can't show you that process because I've already purred it and I don't know how to unpur it to do it again. Obviously you'll have uh, needed to turn it on to do that. Which you do with the you know that button there. Um so look. So you can see the cursor moving on the screen. Now, if you look, I'm not quite central with it there, but if you use the cursor button here, if you press it, it locks the cursor on the screen. This allows you to realign, if you like, the air mouse with the cursor on the screen. And once you've done that, you press that button again, and you're more in sync with it. Now, just quickly, um, I've I'm on BlueStacks. That what you're looking at now is BlueStacks on the screen. This is something that you can download that will allow you to play Android games or use Android apps on your desktop PC. Um, and I'm going to show you Ball Hop. Uh, you, well, we're going to play it using the Home Mouse. Clearly, I'm not very good at it. Just want to show you quickly, though. Well. Mm. 
So you saw me playing that. You probably couldn't see very well actually. I don't know how, how well you, you're seeing this. Um, so yeah, we played a game with it. Um, we'll come off this. And we will go to Google. Actually, if we close that back down. We close that back down. I think if we press the uh, home button on our finger, on the mouse, Google opens up, or your you know your default web browser opens up, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we have a keyboard on the back of our, our mouse. It's a good quality keyboard too. The buttons are really good quality. Um, they will take quite a lot of bashing. And we'll just Google. Bought from AliExpress.com. I think we lost a bit of a connection somewhere then, I think because I was pressing the buttons on the back of here by accident as I was typing. So you probably should keep your fingers you know, at the back, around the back towards the, the edges. So, um, so there's not a lot more to it really. I mean, we've used the keyboard, I've showed you a game. Um, difficult to do uh, behind a camera like this. I wish I could have showed you better. Um, but yeah, it's good quality. It is very good quality. Solid, solid piece of plastic. Um, the buttons are really good. Um, yeah. It's a clever piece of technology. In, in all honesty, I'd probably rather use my mouse that I've been using, but that's probably just because I'm used to it. I mean, I've used this for a few days. Maybe I'd never look back and always use this. Um, but yeah, I think it cost me around twelve dollars. Um, there's links in the description if you want to check them out. There'll also be a link in the description to BlueStacks, the program I used to play that game on my computer. If you want to check that out as well. Um, so yeah, that's it. Not really an instructional video. That's not what I was doing. I just wanted to show you it working. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching.